Hello everyone. This is Pramila Rawat and welcome back to another uh, video of this Android 5A series. So in this video, we will start working on 5A. So we have created an object of database in apps in app an object of database five base database okay now five base inside this we'll pass our URL of five base okay so you have to open real time database and after that you have to copy this link this link and you have to paste here don't forget to change the rules we have to give permission of read and write on database okay so let's start working so this this is the url okay so we are getting a instance from this url and now on click of let's save button this one A click listener for this first of all save button dot set and click listener all right now what we have to do we have to use database reference here so database reference equals to database database dot get reference right okay so after that we have to use a method called add value event listener okay. inside this we have to pass value event listener new value event listener okay so two method already imported okay now what we have to do close this line first now what we have to do inside on data change method we have to use database reference and set value Okay, my name all right, close this line and run this. So this way we can set a single value inside database. Okay, for multiple value and array we will start we will pass a array name here. let's see the okay yeah on click of button i just have clicked it and the value is reflected here right so now what we want to do we want to put it inside a Array. So this place is info array, right? Now run it again and check what it's showing. Click here now. Now you can see it's inside places info array. Now let's provide a name to this. So how to do that? dot child when well, suppose we are adding a place new york okay new york now you can see the output this 
this is the array after opening array this is a place near and its value is this okay now let's start adding places okay so you have to go here create a custom model class for places java class okay places all right inside this we'll create string for street and address state country and image okay because uh, there are four parameters now let's make uh let's let's make a getter setter no we can make just a constructor for this okay so go to here generate constructor for and we have to get it inside there so we can make a getter setter class instead of constructor okay so get and set method for every parameter is done okay now let's use this class here this is right and an array list for places places list now what we have to do we can set values inside this i don't think we need this for now okay so places dot set set street street address get text and to string all right so another similarly for all four set state set country and set image all right so it's for set state it's for country and this is for image so how to get image string we have reduced the size here so this is the string so we have to make it global in quote all right this is a value and now pass it here all right and here we will pass city name or uh, street street address okay. because uh, we can add many uh, addresses inside same city so street address will be more more unique okay. not here but it will be here All right now we have, we have to do we have to pass our places info here let's run up let's run it
And let's take an image. Let's take this one. All right, and click on save button. Okay, you can see new array here with all the information. This is string, image string. This is country name, state name and street address so yeah we are able to do it correctly okay now also we have to convert image into bitmap when we will fetch the data okay. so, this way we can save data into five is it's not very tough it's easy to Save data into five is so yeah. So in next video we'll work on this list view and map. Alright.